Ethiopia and China have signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU on investment promotion and facilitation, which will serve as a new cooperation mechanism for investment according to Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Aside from the MOU signed between the two governments, Ethiopian and Chinese partners inked five other cooperation agreements in the manufacturing, agriculture, pharmaceutical and other sectors it was learned. Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Damaka Mokonin said on the occasion that China has proven to be Ethiopia's most trusted economic and political partner and its support continues to sustain the country's economic growth trajectory. He noted that Ethiopia's institutional, technical and financial capacities remain limited, resulting in lower national achievement in comparison to the country's investment opportunities and potential despite substantial progress in attracting and expanding investments. Today's agreement is essential in directing our attention to the creation of new partnership and the providing of strategic and coordinated direction to our common investment challenges the Mecca underlined. China has proven to be our most trusted economic and political partner and its support continues to reinforce the impressive growth trajectory of Ethiopia. I am convinced that the new cooperative investment will play a unique role by developing the institutional capacity of the Ethiopian Investment Commission in promoting and facilitating Chinese investment inflows to new Yes. Ethiopian Investment Commission Commissioner Lali Seneme on her part disclosed that China is not only Ethiopia's genuine development partner, but it is an exemplary partner in the eradication of poverty by drafting development policies. China is not only a reliable development partner and a consistent supporter of Ethiopia's development efforts, but also a role model and exemplary on how to formulate and implement development policies and elim eliminate poverty through inclusive and sustainable development. These are vital preconditions for expanding the country's productive capability and the ability to attract and retain foreign direct investors in diverse sectors. Chinese ambassador to Ethiopia, Zhao Jiuwan, thanked Ethiopia for allowing Chinese investors to enter and do more investments in the country. He pointed out that Ethiopia and China have agreed to cooperate more in industry, infrastructure, manufacturing and other relevant sectors. The Ethiopian government and the Ethiopian people to bring more Chinese investment to this country and provide more support to boost Ethiopia's economic and social development and achieve mutual benefits. Second, to prioritize cooperation in crucial sectors. Industrialization is the key for Ethiopia to achieve prosperity. Infrastructure, industrial parks, and the manufacturing sector are among the top priorities of our cooperation. It is to be noted that the recent years have seen closer bilateral relations between China and Ethiopia, with trade and investment cooperation furnishing a solid foundation for the long-standing friendship between the two countries.